Starting with karmic relationship, Virgo. Okay. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving yourself. Okay, good start. Let's take a look and see what's happening there. Okay, karmic relationship. All right. So there's definitely an energy of hesitation about getting involved or making a move or going in a particular direction. Okay, uh, the chariot is cancer energy. So there's reflection. Yeah, I feel like you might be in this position starting off this new year of, hmm, is this a karmic relationship? What are the lessons? If it is, how can I move forward? Should I move forward? A little bit of um, taking stock of, of like the past year, what you've been through, who you've connected with, who you've let go of. Um, okay so you've got the moon pisces so it could be maybe a water sign you have a connection with um but i do feel like there is the beginning of the new year this more to be revealed is how i feel about a relationship with someone in particular okay now um there may be an offer for travel as well maybe connecting with someone i do get a sense that you and i know it's not for all of you but one virgo or two or five or ten thousand are trying to figure out um what's hidden behind the veil with someone in particular okay um let me take a look okay yeah because there is it looks like either there is or there will be somebody who is pushing back on revealing their emotions and their feelings which i do feel like might be leading you to wonder if this is a karmic um it, it does look like it's causing some turmoil um and possibly a relationship that's triggering you okay could be could be somebody new so keep that in mind but the biggest lesson here virgo for you is letting go and loving yourself first you know um regardless of what is happening or who you're connecting with i do see a lot of defensive energy there's this it kind of like you might be it, something might be put on the table as far as either travel or moving something forward in january but because there's a lack of depth of revelation to somebody's feelings or emotions there may be this thing of pushing back because they might be blocking or pushing back or be a bit defensive and sharing i feel like you might be hesitating or will hesitate about taking a step forward in January or you just might delay so you can maybe think about it a little longer I do feel like there is someone here who is aware that they push back on revealing their feelings for you they are aware of it and I feel like in January they're really going to be taking a look as well as far as if they should reveal how they feel and how they feel is the lovers this person could be a gemini or like if you're already connecting with this person then it, i don't need to call the sign out you know who it is um but it could be somebody new that might show up where there's a falling in love energy this is that lovers makes me feel like two peas in a pod you and this person it's like a twin i'm not gonna say like you mirror each other um i don't know if you guys watch that twin flame thing on netflix i think it was netflix holy smokes you know what listen you guys know like i don't try to get too deep into the twin flame thing i mean because there can be this getting hooked on the idea of your twin that you get to the point where you just know in your heart or you feel something the connection and then if that other person is not good for you you don't give you don't take into account um the danger right so you know what you could be feeling is a karmic connection that that could be a false twin now i 
feel like maybe you could be trying to figure that out in January too, if this person is, you know, healthy for you, if this is a toxic relationship, regardless of whether it's like you might feel a really strong connection to this person where everything lines up between you and them. However, they could have some serious issues. It's important not to overlook that even if you have it in your head that this is your twin because at that point you just want to let that person go love yourself maybe you know ship them out to healthy world and let them heal um, or pray for them or whatever you might want to do but i do feel there is a questioning and the lovers is here and i do feel like if if you if there's no major defects of character or a lack of integrity or things like that with this person if that comes to fruition that you come to realize that then for you i do feel like this is i'm going to coin the term match made in heaven okay that you guys but this this i do feel like this person also is checking in on how they feel um they're not ready a hundred percent to move forward with you um but they're you know standing at the crossroad in my mind's eye as far as you know it's got to be for love like i feel like this person is not going to come towards you on, on it's got to be for love like no other reason like you know what i mean so i don't know if you're hesitating to express your feelings because you're not sure if this is healthy or not or this is you know you're 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 Virgo, you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's as you usually do. You're check, 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 checking, right? And I, that's what I see you doing in January. Let me take a look. Uh, okay, yeah. Look, Queen of Swords. So that could be representing your energy. It could also be um, an air sign, masculine or feminine. But as far as you, because we were just talking about you, Virgo, I do feel like you're trying to get at the truth of the matter in January. You want crystal clear clarity, communication, information. If it's not with someone else, then with yourself, right? So you will get that as far as, okay, now we have a King of Cups. So it could be with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I did see Cancer and Pisces. And we did see uh, Gemini. So there's some type of communication happening or um, just getting clear, uh, and being precise because the Queen of Swords is very precise. And Queen of Swords is usually someone who's either single or divorced. Um, it's just being very upfront. Queen of Swords is very intelligent. She has the ability to cut through the BS. So I do feel like January wraps up for you with this. Okay, what is the situation going on? Um, you might back out for a little while with the two of swords so that you can try to make um, uh, to trust more of your intuition as far as this relationship goes. You know, I will tell you for some of you, you know, there's nothing here that's showing me like it's a new love in a sense of like somebody new coming in. And for others, this may not be a romantic relationship. This could have something to do with a friendship you know, or somebody close to you that you have a deep connection with that may just simply be platonic, right? Like a sibling or like a family member, uh, someone else who's, you know, uh, for others, that's not romantic. But I do feel like there's a lack of openness and clarity because of the moon, as far as inner feelings, secrets, um, you might be asking yourself if you're disillusioned. I feel like you, there, there's definitely love here and I feel like it's equal. Um, but there's also a decision being made about love and two decision cards. So on both sides, you know, I, it, it is possible that this other person could be questioning what the relationship between you is also because they could have they could be getting triggered by things as well and you know i just I, you know they're just giving me this image of like you and this person standing in a doorway you've got one foot in and one foot out and there's a decision happening here because 
nobody wants to move forward unless it's for love, unless it's for that deep partnership, unless it's for something like with the lovers, that's the end game there. Nobody wants to move forward unless that's going to be the end game. Not necessarily marriage or commitment or anything like that. Although the lovers is a marriage commitment card and there, that is a possibility. But it's more so about what do we really have this real connection? Is it really based on love or is it based on fear and insecurity? Which is what that karmic will be. So it's a lot of like doing the work and in January coming to a conclusion and getting crystal clear about your yourself and what you want and what this person wants in them too. So let's see if we can get somewhat of an outcome here. At least will there be an outcome to this in January is what I want to ask. Okay, King of Wands. Well, someone's definitely going to take the lead. Okay, someone's going to... Uh, Someone's going to take the lead. It could be a fire sign. You could be have a connection with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Um, there could be some communication that you're speaking to another person, trying to seek clarity to help you with this situation as well. Um, let me see. What other is there going to be an outcome? Clarify the King of Wands. Uh, some of you might be... Uh, running a lot of this this uh, you could be checking with someone that you work with or someone that you're connected to through um, some type of business that you have a close connection with or talking to someone at work um, asking for advice and clarity okay wow nine of cups Virgo so that's a good outcome um, I do feel like if you're talking to another person and trying to get some clarity, I feel like this person's going to tell you, um, make that offer. Um, go from your heart. Go with love. Um, they're also going to tell you, uh, I feel like you might be asking somebody else in January based on everything that this person does, if, if they're playing you or if it's, if they're really like, if romance trying to romance romance you or if they um really are offering true love you know and i feel like this person is going to tell you that it, it's true love they'll say like uh, they're just saying like um they're giving you advice about the the sex and saying um this person anybody who was just playing with you wouldn't wouldn't do these things this is what i'm hearing okay Anybody who's playing games wouldn't do the things that you're describing. That's what I feel like you're going to hear. Okay. Uh, one more card. One more card for Virgo. And then we'll wrap that section up. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Got the Page of Pentacles. So there is going to be some communication happening. Um... I feel like there's going to be some ideas and plans put out between you and this person. A lot of communication going forward with that. Future plans. That's what I'm hearing. Future plans. So Virgo, I feel like your advice really at this time is to just kind of sit back and just let things be revealed to you and trust the process as far as this stuff goes. Okay. Good luck, Virgo. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.